What is up everyone? Nick with Foreclosure Finder back for another walkthrough of the week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, new videos every Saturday morning. We are out here today in Northwest Connecticut at another one of my brokerage's foreclosure assignments. Going to be doing our walkthrough today. See what's going on condition and uh, repair wise. Uh, this one is a little bit rougher. Did my preliminary walkthrough and we'll go ahead and get the video started. Um, outside, as you can see, we got some moss growth on the uh, the front of the roof here. It is a very wooded area. If I go ahead and just give you a little bit of a look around here, um, a lot of moss growth on the, moss growth on the back. Um, as we get to there, I'm just going to watch my step a little bit as we walk around because it is covered in leaves. I don't know necessarily what I'm stepping on, uh, so just bear with me as we walk around the outside. Little chicken coop, something here, left over from the uh, the previous owners. Looks like we have some wood siding. Uh, pretty, looks like it's in pretty good shape. I don't see it like damaged or peeling anywhere. We're gonna go up to a little bit up of a hill here. This is like the, the backyard of the property. We'll go ahead and pan over. We'll take a look at the roof, get a good view of the roof here. So as you can see, just a lot of deferred maintenance probably hasn't been cleaned off in, I mean, how many years? Just looks like we got a carpet, um, carpet of grass here. It looks almost like a putting green. So again, just deferred maintenance, a lot of uh, just sitting here, no one cleaning it, doing nothing about it. Again, vacant, abandoned properties. Most of the time for these foreclosures, you get a nice view of it here. I mean, that looks that looks beautiful. That looks like the 18th green right there. Go ahead, I'm just gonna bear with me while I walk through. Again, it's a little tough to walk around here, but do wanna kind of see what's going on surrounding the property. Uh, I'm gonna need windows, gonna need roof. Again, siding's in decent shape, wood siding. We'll take a look at a little bit something going on there. I'm not ex sure exactly what, but nothing too crazy going on in the back here. You can see kind of some of the slope. Had a tree fall up, fall down here, so that'll probably have to be addressed. It's coming pretty much right on the house. Um, so some landscaping here for sure, along with kind of everything that's going on the uh, the inside. Got a nice little like wraparound driveway here. Well, it's really got two driveways uh, where I pulled in. And then it's got the uh, access to the garages here. And just bear with me as I traverse these uh, these steps and these rocks. Okay, cool. All right, so nice little side yard. You can see the street right out there. Go ahead and turn around, get this side of the house. Okay, two-car garage, access door. Some of the siding's missing up here, but again, overall condition's not too bad. And this um, this you don't see too common. This is like... It looks like vinyl siding, but it's wood. Usually with wood in Connecticut or in the Northeast, it's like that clapboard siding that we've seen on previous videos. So this more looks like the vinyl siding, but uh, just having the, the wood access. Gonna need new garage doors, the whole nine. Little steps, a uh, little stairwell here. I'll walk back up to the front yard. Again, not too much going on. Really surprised at how good the siding is, uh, how good a shape that is compared to everything else. All right, we're gonna be walking in here, a little bit of a handicap ramp blocking the stairs. Probably be addressed, they left some stuff here. We are gonna need the uh, the flashlight for this one. Go ahead and pop that on. All right, welcome, welcome in. Welcome on in. All right, um, I mean, first things first, I guess we'll just start. Property does have some mold issues, or what appears to be mold discoloration. Uh, just seeing it here, you can see it's on the paneling a little bit too. And uh, you'll see some more evidence of the discoloration as we work through the uh, the property. All right, so we'll start in the living room. Um, I mean, not too much really going on here. I mean, you can see some more of the discoloration starting to develop. Um, just looking at look, looking for any other signs of moisture other than this this discoloration. Uh, these windows look to be new, which is nice. You know, the flooring uh, doesn't look like it's buckling anywhere just yet. We'll peter around. Got the uh, nice wood stove there, hooked in. And uh, this one, they just left, you know, they just abandoned their stuff here. Um, we're gonna go right down into the basement. We'll start this one in the basement, just be a little easier. Come down here, a lot of lot of stuff left at this property. They haven't trashed it out yet. So it looks a little bit like a hoarder's house right now. Um, but we're gonna get through it, see what we can uh, see down here. So uh, just some additional storage in the basement. I'm gonna pop over this way. Uh, we have the well pump and filter here, so it's on a well system, but that's obviously going to need some replacement. Let's see some more of the discoloration back there. Let's go and turn around, a little workshop area. Again, just full of junk, got a nice hole through the uh, foundation there. I wonder what that's about. Interesting. That looks like it's after the fact, the way it was 
drilled through. So I'd be curious. Maybe we got an addition and they wanted to uh, actually have some basement underneath. Uh, let's walk through here. It's going to lead us out to the garage. Again, just a bunch of junk that's been left here. I mean, this really isn't anything of value. Any of you pickers uh, in the videos, definitely let me know if I'm missing anything. But most of the time, it's just abandoned junk. Um, big big two-car garage, oversized garage. You can see the uh, ceilings dropping down a little bit. Some more evidence of the discoloration in here. So they had some type of water issue. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn around. Again, just a bunch of junk, garbage left on site. Here we got the mechanicals, furnace, and the water heater. Again, we already saw the uh, the well pump. Um, they're looking decent. I mean, you got some rusting. Don't get me wrong, but like the burner itself looks good. I'm not seeing any blown out plumbing, but uh, you know it could be a different story once we get upstairs. Oh, I see a little bit of it here. Just a little bit of little crack there. I mean, that's all it takes. Not too bad. We got oil heat. And again, you can see some rust evidence on there. Some drippage here too. I wonder what that may be from. Okay, all stuff we can review a little later. Again, some more of the discoloration there. Now circle us back uh, back upstairs. Not too out of the ordinary uh, with these properties. Again, just a lot of, you know, we, we, we obviously know it's deferred maintenance, but you see a lot of the junk in here too that obviously has an impact that can retain moisture, critters, you know, whatever it may be. Give, give mold uh, a place to uh, grow. Little utility room. So there is like a pass through here. And actually now that I'm, Looking at the orientation of the house, this maybe this is probably where that addition is, that cutout. So you go through like this laundry room here, and this is like a little auxiliary one bedroom like apartment thing. We got a bathroom in here, but uh, yep, obviously gonna need some some work in here, some more evidence of the discoloration. Um, in this bathroom, we will go ahead. I just got the couch up in the corner. So they may have they might have had a pest issue. You can see some of the fly tape here. A uh, few few rolls of it hung up, but this basically just looks like a bedroom. Um, I doubt it's the master suite. That's an exterior door there. So maybe uh, you know maybe this was the in law or something like that. Again, some more evidence of the discoloration on the ceiling here. So it looks like it's developing kind of throughout the uh, throughout the property. So they could have had a moisture issue here at one at one point. Take a left. Uh, come on into the kitchen and dining area. Uh, that's probably where the dining dining uh, room, dining kitchen table would go. Okay, I'll get a better angle of the, uh, the kitchen here. But again, yeah, full gut. See some more of the discoloration starting to develop on the ceiling here. You can see how long this place may have been vacant for. Again, just pretty typical. A lot of times people just walk away from these houses. Um, and by the time all the court and, you know, paperwork gets processed, it's, uh, you know, it, it gets into this condition. Um, again, some more discoloration, some more of the fly tape, seeing some of the uh, windows. I have no idea what would have caused this scratching here, a, a cat or a dog maybe, but that seems pretty significant, especially as high up as that is too. I'm going to circle back. Can you see how long something like this is? You know, they, they probably had a estate sale, tax sale, something like that. And then, you know, this thing's just been sitting there long enough to accumulate that much discoloration. Come down the hallway here. This is like the uh, you know the living quarters of the uh, of the home. Going to bedroom number one here. Pretty typical wood paneling. Nothing too fancy. Um, no discoloration on this ceiling, which is nice. But we do have. This is not a bump in the rug. You can see we do have some of the hardwood starting to buckle. If you can see the angle there, um, right here, this bump here. So again, some type of moisture issue. That's pretty. That's a pretty good indicator of moisture being in the property, being retained maybe even in this room or underneath it. Uh, we'll turn around straight into our full full bathroom here. Uh, nothing too fancy in here. Again, just gonna need a lot of the same typical stuff we see at a lot of these properties. Again, some more evidence of the discoloration up on the ceiling. Original windows, not sure what that may be about. And just working, working our way back. I don't hate the paneling actually, like in this room. You could maybe like paint it white and modernize it. A little bit instead of getting fully rid of it. I know some people hate it. It's almost like fake fake wainscoting, shiplap, something like that. Uh, bedroom number two. Nice size bedroom in here. Um, interesting paint color, but good size room. Um, the baseboard covers are off. We did some see some evidence of broken plumbing um, in the basement. Again, you just see how long something like this has been sitting here. And again, just nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. Some more of the cobwebs, saw that in the past video. 
again just seeing what's uh what's going on and then the final bedroom here okay this might have been the uh kids room or something like that again just seeing what's going on looking for any glaring issues of you know major issues deficiencies uh no discoloration on this ceiling got, looks like we got a hole in the drywall there but otherwise otherwise not too bad i'm gonna assume those tvs don't work they look a little old anyway and again just looks like they someone was already looking at the plumbing there too so yeah i mean it's not uh not in the worst shape but i mean it's a, a lot of it has a lot of this too maybe they did have animals i mean there's a lot a lot of the trim in this place is just toast um that could be animals that could just be you know being lazy when they move furniture in and out but i'm seeing a lot of that just uh you know they they you know something got damaged and maybe never got addressed this hallway is also pretty tight um now that i kind of go down it maybe maybe try to eat into it a little bit here get rid of the uh the right wall here because that basically is the the eat-in area of the kitchen so uh, i'm sure you got some there's some potential here for the workout especially for the you know this is basically going to be i would now i would say a full gut but pretty darn close to it um i think that might be it we circle back in the living room here and i think that's going to do it for this video uh so again just want to thank you guys for sticking around another walk through of the week again don't forget to like and subscribe new videos every saturday morning nick signing off until next time